what I want to talk about next is to talk about knowledge graphs and in particular I want to talk about knowledge graph completion task uh, using embeddings and I want to present you some very interesting knowledge graph completion methods. So knowledge graph, uh, the idea is that we want to store knowledge about a given domain in a graph form and the idea is that we want to capture entities, types and relationships between different entities. So the idea is that now I will have the nodes which I will call entities. Entities will be labeled with different uh, types um, and then I will have different types of relationships uh, between entities. Um, and in this sense knowledge graph is just an example of a heterogeneous graph but generally we would think of a knowledge graph as something that captures factual knowledge about a given domain. So for example you could take a bibliographic network where you could say I'll have different node types like papers, titles, authors, conferences, years and then I will have uh, different uh, relation types like where was the publication done, what year was it done, what title does it have, who is the author of it, who cites it and so on. And this is for example one way to look at the schema of this type of uh, knowledge graph would be the following, right? Paper links to conference, papers cite each other, papers have titles, have years, uh, publication years and have authors. And of course there's multiple authors, multiple conferences and all these uh, links to each other. Another example is something I already discussed would be in biomedicine there is a lot of knowledge graphs where we can have different types, uh, node types in terms of drugs, diseases, adverse events, proteins, uh, disease pathways and so on and then we also can have different uh, types of relations like has function, causes, is associated, treats, uh, is a type of relationship and now we have this knowledge about biology and how, uh, how uh, uh, life works encoded in this uh, graphical form. And then uh, of course there are a lot of uh, knowledge graphs that are actually publicly available and store knowledge about uh, other types of entities as well. So for example about real world entities, you know Google is using uh, Google knowledge graph to make uh, search results better, uh, Amazon is using their product graph to understand properties of different products and be able to, uh, to search and recommend products better, uh, Facebook has a graph API because they think of their social network, interests, relationships between people, uh, schools they graduated from as nodes in a giant graph. Uh, IBM Watson in the background uses uh, a giant uh, graph to be able to answer questions and reason. Uh, Microsoft uh, search engine and the company is using Microsoft Satori which is their own proprietary knowledge graph. Uh, you know. LinkedIn I think, uh, calls its knowledge graph uh, the, the, the economic knowledge graph and, and so on and so forth. So knowledge graphs are basically heavily used in industry to capture background knowledge about a given domain, to capture relationships between the nodes in a given domain. And for example one way uh, you can use knowledge graphs is simply to serve information. So for example if you go to Bing search engine and say you know what are the latest movies um, by the director of Titanic, this is a, a knowledge graph query, right? You find Titanic, you say who has directed it, you find that person and you say which other movies has this uh, uh, person directed and you can directly uh, surface this information. And without having this data encoded in a graphical form, answering this type of query, this type of question would be practically impossible. Knowledge graphs are also uh, very important in question answering and conversational ag agents and here I show kind of the, the system diagram uh, for uh, one of these, uh, one of these uh, types of uh, um, uh, uh, age, uh, systems where basically you, you get in the questions, you want to have a conversation with, with an agent and the agent will understand what, what are the entities that, that are contained in the question and how these entities relate to each other so that it can then come back with a let's say an intelligent uh, answer. And you can think for example of knowledge encoded in Wikipedia, IMDB and so on as examples of data sources you can use uh, for your knowledge graph, right? So there are many publicly available uh, knowledge, graph, uh, uh, knowledge graphs out there. For example Freebase 
um, then there is Wikipedia or Wikidata, uh, there is Dbpedia, uh, and so on and so forth. And one common characteristic of these knowledge graphs is that they, they are massive, they have millions, tens of millions of nodes and edges, but they are also notoriously incomplete, meaning a lot of relationships are missing. And one of the most fundamental tasks in knowledge graph literature is to say, given a massive knowledge graph, enumerate uh, or uh, identify what tasks, what relations are missing in the graph. So the question is, can we predict plausible but missing links in the knowledge graph? So to give you an example, so for example, Freebase is a knowledge graph uh, that uh, was acquired by Google and Google uses it uh, uh, as a basis for its uh, Google knowledge graph. It contains knowledge about real world entities and their relationships. So it has 50,000 entities, it has 38,000 uh, relation types and 3 billion edges, right? So, so you know, right, the, num the cardinality of the number of different relationships, it's 38,000, right? So it's huge. And now if you think of this in the context of RGCM, we would need to learn 38,000 different transformation matrices for every layer of the GCM, which clearly becomes intractable, right? But what is interesting is, for example, uh, almost like 94% of all the people, person nodes in Freebase have no place of birth. And, you know, 78,000, 78% uh, have no uh, nationality. Right, so these knowledge graphs are notoriously incomplete. Um, and uh, the question then is, can we automatically infer what is nationality of a given node? Or could we automatically infer where was a given node, a given person uh, born? And this is what is called uh, knowledge graph uh, completion. 